Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Thursday, January 28th. It's the third week after the Epiphany, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 59, Genesis 16, ch uh, verse 15 to chapter 17, verse 14. And please join me in singing verse 3 of part 2 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. When on my head huge sorrows fell, I sought your heavenly aid. You saved my sinking soul from hell and death's eternal shame. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help thee. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, deliver me from my enemies, my God. Defend me from those that rise against me. Alleluia. Psalm 59, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, deliver me from my enemies, my God. Defend me from those that rise against me. Deliver me from the evildoer, and save me from the violent and the bloodthirsty. For they lie in wait for my soul, the mighty are gathered against me. Not for any offense or sin of mine, O God. They rush and prepare themselves for battle, for no guilt of mine. Awake and defend me, come and see. O Most High God of hosts, God of Israel, rouse yourself and help me. Punish the heathen. Show no mercy to the wicked. They return at evening. They snarl and growl like dogs and roam about the city. See how they boast. Taunts are on their lips. They say, who will hear? But you shall laugh at them. You shall laugh them to scorn. Because of your strength I wait on you. For you, O God, are my defense. You are the God that loves me. You shall let me triumph over my enemies. Kill them, lest my people forget. Scatter them by your power, and bring them down, O God, our shield. Let them be caught in their pride for the sins of their mouths and the words of their lips, for their cursing and their lying. Consume them in your wrath, that they may be no more, and let them know that you rule in Jacob to the ends of the earth. And in the evening they return, they snarl and growl like hungry dogs and roam about the city. They wander up and down, seeking meat and complain and howl if they are not satisfied. But I will sing of your power, I will sing aloud of your mercy in the morning, for you have been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. To you, O oh my strength, I sing, for you are my defense and my merciful God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, deliver me from my enemies, my God. Defend me from those that rise against me. Alleluia. A lesson from Genesis, chapter 16, beginning at verse 15. Hagar bore Abram a son, and Abram named his son, whom Hagar bore, Ishmael. And Abram was eighty-six years old when Hagar bore him, Ishmael. When Abram was ninety-nine years old, the Most High appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless, and I will make my covenant between me and you and will make you exceedingly numerous. And then Abram fell on his face, and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You shall be the ancestor of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be Abram, but your name shall be Abraham. For I have made you the ancestor of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you and your offspring after you throughout their generations 
for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your offspring after you. And I will give you and your offspring after you the land where you are now an alien, all the land of Canaan, for a perpetual holding, and I will be their God. And God said to Abraham, As for you, you shall keep my covenant, you and your offspring after you throughout their generations. And this is my covenant which you shall keep between me and you and your offspring after you. Every male among you shall be circumcised. You shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskins, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and you. Throughout your generations, every male among you shall be circumcised, when he is eight days old, including the slave born in your house, the one bought with your money from any foreigner who is not of your offspring. Both the slave born in your house and the one bought with your money must be circumcised, and so shall my covenant be in your flesh an everlasting covenant. Any uncircumcised male who is not circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin shall be cut off from his people, he has broken my covenant. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness. Let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, beloved God, your praise is ever on our lips. Be our defender and refuge in times of evil. Deliver us from our enemies and guide us in the paths of righteousness and peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.